This is another session on the cash conversion cycle as related to the net balance position as part of the Selene Finance Series. This is Phil Greenwood. I find this as being one of, the, one of the most important financial topics for entrepreneurial firms, especially firms that have inventory receivables and payables. As you remember, we talked about the net balance position as a metric to help firms monitor if they had enough liquidity, meaning enough cash on hand to meet their ongoing uh, daily needs. One of the ways it, that we have to look at the NBP is if it's negative, we've got to take some corrective action. A way we can help measure or help monitor what maybe what are some ways we can uh, address that is through the cash conversion cycle. The cash conversion cycle takes into account the inventory, the receivables, and the accounts payable, and how many days it takes for a dollar to circulate throughout the business. The first component is inventory days on hand, which is simply taking the average inventory divided by the daily cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold in this case divided by 365 days, that will equal the estimated inventory days on hand, how long it's taking inventory to sell as it's sitting on, how many days it's sitting on your shelves. Add to that the average collection period, which is simply the average accounts receivable divided by the daily sales, which is annual sales divided by 365 days. That equals the average collection period, which estimates how many days it's taking on average for your customers to pay. It's also called a day sales outstanding, just for clarification purposes. In addition to inventory and receivables, then you can also calculate the day's payable outstanding, which is simply the average accounts payable that you owe your vendors divided by the daily cost of goods sold, the same number we used in inventory. That will equal an estimate of how many days it's taking us to pay our bills to our vendors, especially our accounts payable. Add all three of these together, your days on hand plus your receivables collection period, subtract from that your days payable outstanding, and you have a rough estimate of how long the dollar is taking to circulate. As you can see, in a lot of firms, well, you can use this measure in a lot of firms even if you don't have inventory or don't have receivables, but it's probably most useful as a cash management tool in a firm when they have all three of these components.